This is JR Tech and Software. Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are here on Windows XP and we are going to be deleting a core Windows file or in this case a core Windows registry key. Um, this key per, um, upon deletion doesn't really destroy Windows, doesn't make it not able to boot or anything. It just makes it so that you can't do anything. <laughs> you are pretty much stuck at the desktop and there's nothing else. Alright, so to show you guys what this key is, we're going to go ahead and open up the registry editor here. And this is the key here, H key classes root. I believe what this does is pretty much stores all the information about file associations and when I try to execute one of these types of files without like let's run uh, the command prompt here if i were to have like a um image in here what like i was trying to open i would i could do like image uh, png and the file association means that it, uh, and I would find the correct program to open up this PNG image. This is the same thing for multiple different things here. You can see all of them in here. But the two most particular, like, biggest ones are .exe and .dll. You can see .dll right there and uh, .exe right there. So essentially we could essentially make the computer forget how to run an executable file or DLL or like even these are all .lnk files or link files and we can essentially make the computer forget what to do with these things by deleting that registry key right there. So the way we are going to do it now the probably the easiest and most straightforward way would be or that the way that you comes to mind right away of how to delete this is by um, going on to here and hitting the delete key on the keyboard or right clicking hit delete but that doesn't work instead you have to go into here and hit delete and hit yes to, for all of these keys in here and uh, we don't really there are much better ways of doing this. <laughs> so we're gonna open up a command prompt here as an administrator here. I believe we are already an administrator, so it doesn't matter. And then we are going to run this command. Greg, delete, h key, classes, root. And enter and hit my and you can see access is denied. It did it anyways. Um, you can see we already have some effects. This is just folder now. And we have this weird icon here. And there's nothing in there. Oh, it, it loaded. <laughs> but the main thing is when we log off or restart. So I'm going to restart uh, poor Windows XP here. The computer's pretty much screwed up at this point. Now this registry key it's funny because it doesn't necessarily delete the computer it doesn't make it unusable it it doesn't make it so you can't log in it just means that you can log in here we can't do anything I this is I guessing this is probably desktop to I and I um, maybe I don't know our menus are weird if we go to properties you can see windows cannot open this file run dll.exe and does this whole thing where uh, you can if you've ever tried to open up a file that windows doesn't necessarily hasn't seen below before and doesn't know how to open it um like you can this whole select item from a list here um all that stuff. Um, now you can see all these LNK files here. The de the uh, start menu is essentially screwed up here. You can see it's trying to show all programs there, but it, it's not really doing it. All these LNK files here. 
Windows cannot open the LMK file for the uh, link there. And Explorer does work. I'm not completely sure how Explorer works, but does work. And um, so we can uh, kind of browse our C drive. I actually haven't tried to uh, open anything from in here. Let me see. But yeah, you can see dialer.exe. This is like the phone dialer. It doesn't know how to do any of this. It it just doesn't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have broken Windows without making it like unable to boot. We have I've essentially made our computer completely useless. So uh yeah. Anyways if I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh if you did go ahead and please hit that like button and if you like my other videos then please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.